So I'm going to the sanitarium now. I've never been one, so um, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I, I hope nobody's in there. I hope I get, can get, get in. Uh, people have said who been there that it's difficult to get in. So maybe I have to lose my tight pants. So see, let's see, hope. Okay, I think this is the one of my biggest founds yet. I kind of hide my bike. Oh, it started raining. Yeah, and uh, I burned my rain suit to the pipe and rain came, it, yes rain, and uh, I should have be found this place in three hours. It took freaking eight hours to find this place. Jeez. But I hope this is going to be a big episode. See you. I tell you my comments after I search this place. Bye. Hello and good day. Today I found most biggest place I have seen, I think. And I have never been this kind of a place, so I reveal you the sanitarium. That's a big, big place. I've never been in a sanitarium. Oh, it's buggy in my back. Ouch. Um, okay, we are going to go through through this building even though it's uh, uh, raining a little bit but that's okay I think oh this way <laughs> it was zooming too close but they say it, that getting in would be kind of a difficult so let's see let's see I even have my tight pants on if I cannot get in I take them off hmm Broken tree. Wait, oh, wait a second, I have to cut, stop for a second. I mixed my uh, sound cord and other thing. Okay, we are back. So, 
sanitarium. Also, we are not, not in Finland, we are in Sweden. So, I've been traveling like eight hours searching this place and I finally found it. And I don't know if I have enough gas to get back into the gas station, so I might be in trouble. And I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> and <whew. laughs> a lot of challenges have been coming in this trip. I've been driving around woods and uh, every kind of road, mud road, and that kind of stuff. Oh, check out my uh, vlog about that thing. You can see a glimpse of that suffering. <laughs> okay, let's start to move around. Check out the entrance. It looks pretty stylish. Nice lion head. This kind of design I miss from uh, Finland. Finland doesn't really do uh, good architecture. They all are like boxes nowadays. Days. Cheap way to make. And even the stairs are round. These kind of little details make it stylish. Okay, let's try Sweden. Privat omrode. Respectra. Good. Yes, I, I respect. I don't take anything, I don't break anything, I just take pictures. Obviously nobody wants anyone to come in. So I bet the door's locked. Yep. I have no idea what this says. Let's try. Det är fast hicket har nu och ägare som planerar starta verk samhet här. För att stoppa vidare stöld och vandalisering. Yep, I'm not vandal. Vandal. Har bevakning ökats av polisen i samarbete med kransamverkan. All inte kron polis. Police and models, man leak and respect. Hmm, I don't know what it, that means. Something about don't vandal, vandalize or that, or that kind of stuff. But obviously, there are happy vandals here. Hmm. Let's go around from there. So big place. I hope we can get in. You can see a little my bike from in there. <laughs> it's kind of a hidden. I took all my valuables in my back. That's why I carry it around me. No wait. I just checked if I took the motorcycle keys. <laughs> hmm. These lamps are also nice, nice touch. I wonder why they put the woods in their way. Maybe just people don't drive with cars in there here. And why would they? Oh, there's another house near. Uh, 
I don't care. I th it's just if they don't come here. I wonder if anybody sees in there. I think this is going to be a long episode if I get in. <laughs> Oh, there's another structure behind it. I wonder what that place is. Birdie, birdie, birdie. There's some kind of trail here. I wonder why. They really try to protect this. So hardly, but why? Do they have some kind of plans to this place? If they try to cover it so much? I check in. Uh. Pool! There's a swimming pool there. That's a good, good therapy. Yeah, swimming pool. Also interesting color, color this place. It's kind of a pink. Yep. Is this the kind of some kind of danger area? I don't know. By the way, I don't see any way in yet. Ah, oh, jungle ahead. Oh, do I really have to? Well, I guess so. It's a nice, nice flower. Okay. Scratch my head. That's broken. 
program to eat short or something. Whoa, what a look. That hurt. Oh, this looks nice too. Very interesting. That's that's very interesting. <laughs> now I get it. Why they say it all road? That it, it's difficult to get in here. I wish I could get in. Does that mean a private respect that someone private owns this or something? You focus a little bit. That is interesting looking. Oh, by the way, this place had nickname. It was Ninja Sanitarium. Does it mean that you really have to be a ninja to get inside here? I don't know. If this is some kind of pus pu puzzle. How to how to get in? At no, everything is tight and sealed. That the roof is has collapsed. Huh. There is no way. <laughs> uh, my recording stopped by itself because it has that time limit and I kept babbling to a camera that wasn't even recording for a while. <laughs> okay, I was just telling about the name of this nickname of this place was Ninja Sanitarium. Maybe the founders founders put that name because they, you have to be a ninja like urban explorer um, to get inside here. Is it kind of a, some kind of puzzle? How do you get here? Can it get in there? I just... Maybe that roof, maybe some window is open there. It's very difficult, very. It's really bother, bother, bothering me that I, I cannot get in. Son of a gun. Come on, vandals, do something good. Okay. I just want to check if there's anything here. I wonder if this kind of place is good for the patients. And why there's this kind of hallway there? 
Is it just because it looks good? Perhaps. Uh, they have thought of everything. I cannot get in. <laughs> Even doors put on the front of the glass. There's a pipe I didn't even or chimney or you guys taught me some of the chimney words or but I finally forgot them. Chimney pipe um I forgot it. This really is a big place. Also, sorry guys, I'm very tired, so I'm not that energi ener energetic or something like that. If you had the choice, how would you go in, in some way, some other way? You know what I mean. Why do, did they need uh, some chimney? <laughs> I have to check that door. You never know. Opehörika äger ei till träd. Nope. Uh, this is such a tease. The bathroom or kitchen in there. After this I should drive home, which takes at least th four, four hours and it takes more if I don't, I don't know the route that well and I don't. Oh, it's going to be midnight before I get home and it's six o'clock. If I would could get in here, I probably would sleep here and then continue. On my trip. Not even there. Just, just a tease. Just such a tease. Lot of lot of text which I don't understand. Uh, there's no way in. I think Is this depressing video? <laughs> Me just 
we just going and oh I couldn't get in, oh, I couldn't get in. Okay, but it's a great place, even though if we couldn't get in. Great big place. Okay, I don't, I don't have anything to say about this place, other than mo keep moaning about that I couldn't get in. So it was a fun place. I maybe had to have too much trouble to find this. It's kind of a almost not worth the trouble I I saw. <laughs> to get here but it's always good when you get out of your comfort zone you so you can find different things also it's not about the target always it's about the journey I know that's a cliche but that's why I ride motorcycle <laughs> even though I have a car it's much more fun to drive a motorcycle so if I don't find the place I always can enjoy the drive so see you see you and Nick uh, <coughs> take two we'll see you we who are we uh, I see you in the next video so which way I'm tuning Oh, that way. Okay, see you next video. And please thumb up, even though we couldn't get in. And subscribe, and I have a lot of stuff to you to check out in my channel. So, goodbye. <laughs>